Welcome back to the Educated Elephant Learning Channel. My name is Miss Elizabeth. Today we're going to read a story called Malik in the Magic Bowtie, written by Ray Young Jr., illustrated by Tyrus Gaucher. So if you have a copy of the story, go grab it and follow along. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It helps us grow and reach a wider audience. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Malik in the Magic Bowtie, written by Ray Young Jr., illustrated by Tyrus Gaucher. It was the day before election, and Malik was writing his speech. He was in a race for class president. He stayed up all weekend preparing. Malik's dad walked into his son's room and noticed all the crumpled pieces of paper on the floor. Hey, son, how's the speech coming? Great, Malik said, reassuring himself. I think I have the winning speech right here. Care if I read it? Asked his dad. Malik shook his head yes and handed over the paper. This is great, son. It's much better than the one I wrote when I was your age. <laughs> what? Really? Wait, wait, wait. You ran for class president? I sure did, Malik's dad said proudly. And I won too. <laughs> Malik started to feel discouraged. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll never win class president. There's not one kid in the whole class who looks like me. And I don't have very many friends. I've been trying to secure votes. I've done everything I could and they still don't like me. I understand, son. I looked different from my classmates too. And I also didn't have many friends. Wait here, I have something for you. Malik's dad went into his room and returned with a small red box. What's this? Malik asked as he reached for the box and uncovered a bow tie. This bow tie was mine, and it was my father's, and before that, his father's. This bow tie has been in the family for generations, and it's going to help you win that title. Malik looked at the tie confused. Sure, it's a great tie, but nobody wears ties like this anymore, Dad. People are going to laugh at me. They might laugh. But you shouldn't care what they think. Besides, this tie is magic. Magic? What do you mean it's magic? You'll see, his dad said as he walked away. Malik was feeling nervous about his big speech. He also knew the importance of a good night's sleep. He looked over his speech one more time and went to bed. The next morning, while Malik got ready for school, he put on his regular tie. He stared in his closet at his dad's magical bow tie and decided to put it in his book bag just in case. Hey Malik, Stanley the class bully yelled across the cafeteria. Ready for today's election? Hope you brought a box of tissues for your tears after you lose. Malik's classmates laughed and he ran to the bathroom Loser! Malik looked at himself in the bathroom mirror. What's the point? Malik said as he threw off his tie. There's no way I can win the election. Just then, Malik remembered his dad's words. They might laugh, but you shouldn't care what they think. Besides, this tie is magic. That afternoon, Malik decided to wear his father's bow tie. Once it was on, he knew he looked sharp. As he walked to class prepared to deliver his speech, he felt like a winner and smiled confidently. When his teacher called him up to present his speech, he put his paper down and spoke from his heart. As your class president, I promise to do more than just bring you pizza parties every month and create a new recess schedule. I promise to stand up for the students who are bullied. I promise to listen to your problems. And I promise to be true to myself. 
I hope it encourages you to be true to yourselves too. Malik won the election that day, as well as the respect from his classmates. He walked in the house with his bow tie still tied. He smiled at his dad and said, You're right, this tie is magic. The end. Thank you for reading with us. The moral of the story was to have confidence and believe in yourself, and you can accomplish anything. And remember my little elephants, learning builds character. A kind heart keeps you smart, and elephants never forget. Catch you next time.